How's it going everybody? Uh, today I just wanted to talk briefly about the dietary adjustment process in the context of an off season for myself. Um, the reason I do this is to give some kind of insight into how I make dietary adjustments in order to maybe help some of you uh, who do your own coaching and your own diet to make adjustments on your own. We're going to be talking about dietary adjustments in the off season and specifically for myself the week of 914 to 920. Um, so basically how I made adjustments throughout this week, um, I have a weight average sheet that I'll put up on the screen. Uh, basically I check my weight average and I'm trying to hit a weight gain target about 0.8% of total body weight per week. That's uh, kind of right in the middle as far as how I think weight gain should be. Uh, if you listen to a lot of experts, they say that your weight gain target in an off season context should be anywhere from 0.5% to 1% of bo total body weight per week. That is ideal for putting on the least amount of fat and the most amount of muscle possible. Once you get outside of that, you generally look at putting on more fat. And if you're too conservative, you may not put on any weight or any muscle, appreciable muscle. Um, so right now I'm kind of in the mid range. Um, I know if I push my weight up towards that 1%, I will get fat knowing my physique. I'll get really fat really fast. So I'm really cautiously watching that. Sometimes I'm a little too conservative. This is definitely one of the few off seasons where I've watched it really closely. Um, so the I'll put up on the screen. So the week week nine of my program, 831 to 96, um, I kind of overshot my weight a little bit, which wasn't crazy. I think I'm looking at about 1.8 pounds right now, 1.5 to 1.8, and I overshot to 2.2 pounds that week, which is okay. There were some fluctuations with um, my enhancement protocol and things like that, so that may be a part of that. Um, so I overshot that a little bit, so I tried to go a little more conservative. Um, the next week, 9.7 and 9.13, were actually net zeroed, which is really weird. That means my average for the week totaled to 0% difference, which is crazy. Um, so I, and I think I did adjust my food down just a little bit. So now this week, uh, coming to week 11 of the program, 914 to 920, um, I tried to, uh, I bumped my food up. I think I, last week I mentioned I made an adjustment. Uh, it was either 50 to hundred grams of carbohydrates. I think somewhere towards the hundred gram of carbohydrates. Um, one thing that I'll say is when I'm adjusting my diet, I try to do it in about 10% increments. Um, that tends to be okay. A safe zone for myself and for my clients anything more than that and it may overshoot the food too much, anything less, and you may um, not notice too much of a physique change um, from that. So I'm doing about 10% calorie adjustments right now. My, cal well, my calories were about 4,500. So right now I'll put my diet up on the screen. I added 100 grams of carbohydrates from rice. So now my calories are at 4,778. And I also added 25 grams of carbohydrates to my potato meal because I do not want to push my potatoes any higher because it will cause digestive distress. Other things I did was I brought my protein down actually. Uh, this is going to be counterintuitive. A lot of bodybuilders don't do that um, because they want to keep their protein really high. Uh, right now, carbohydrates are protein sparing and I have my carbohydrates at 715 grams roughly. Um, and so I want to get my, my protein from complete sources down um, 190 would be 0.8 grams per pound of my current weight, which is 242. Um, but um, I'm only counting from complete sources. So uh, the, I'll show at the bottom, I have a little um, uh, a minus showing my, the, subtracting the amount of protein from indirect sources. So protein from rice and potatoes, I subtract out and that's gonna be my complete protein number. So now I'm about 218, which is okay. Uh, a little bit higher than that 0.8 gram, but that's definitely a safe range to be in the 0.8 to 1.2 grams per pound uh, of protein. Um, so I have that. I lowered my protein a little bit. I added carbohydrates and I always look for easily digestible carbohydrates, especially when my food volume is this high. I'm adding in rice and rice products. So I up my night, uh, my cream of rice in my first meal because that's a great carbohydrate. It's got a lot of carbohydrates for not a lot of volume. So that's a good thing. Um, and then I just added white rice otherwise, and I pulled out some of the foods that may be more satiating like bison and, and beef and things like that. So uh, nothing too crazy. I just wanted to talk a little bit how I make these dietary adjustments. This week, um, I was a little too conservative. Uh, this last week, I only gained almost a half pound. Um, so moving forward, I want to push that up to at least a pound and more ideally to 1.5 pounds. So um, that's why I was a little bit more aggressive. I did 125 uh, grams of carbohydrates which is, let me check real quick, which would be 500 calories, which is getting closer to that 10%. Um, There's a little bit above that 10% range currently, but I think that's what I need. I was kind of playing around. One thing I'll mention is I was playing around these last couple days. As I noticed, my weight average was not going up. 
I added in 50 grams of carbs and added in 50 grams of carbs and I noticed my weight wasn't going up so that's why I'm doing a little more aggressive and I added another 50 and we'll see if my weight goes up from here and if not I may need to be more aggressive with that uh, a lot of people would go at this point would be like oh you need a cheat meal I try to hold those off until the very very end I don't want to throw in food that may throw off my digestion and I want to be able to track and monitor my progress so I'm not gonna add anything in that's unpredictable that I can't really track the calories of we want to really know what's going on because then we can carry this over into a contest prep where I know how much food I'm consuming and I know what to pull from. If you're eating three cheat meals a week and you don't know how many calories you're consuming, it's really hard to make adjustments in a, in a, on a contest prep scenario. And um, again, you just want to build up your rice volume as high as you can so that you have a lot of rice to pull from when you go to diet. So then you don't end up dieting on, on 25 grams of rice. You know, I want to have a large bolus. There was a case study in bodybuilders that showed the bodybuilders who ate the most carbohydrates heading into a show were actually the, the most winningest bodybuilders. They won their competitions most often. And I think that if you look at people like Jay Cutler who are able to eat thousand grams of carbs going into a show, they always have this really full ripped package. So that's my goal. And obviously you don't have to starve as much getting into a show. So that's my goal. I'm, I'm thinking about the, the contest prep season when I'm making these dietary adjustments. I'm looking at my weight averages. I'm looking at my physique, which I'll show the videos of me posing, making sure I'm not putting on more fat than muscle. You need to use multiple data points to make adjustments and look at multiple data points. You know, you can't just use your, your, your caliper or a DEXA scan or a, a bioelectrical impedance uh, measurement to just make adjustments off of. You need to use data, you need to use your weight average, you need to use pictures, you need to use measurements, you need to use your weight in the morning, you need to use all these different things and then you can make accurate adjustments. So anyway, I hope that wasn't too confusing or too long-winded. That's kind of my thought process going into dietary adjustments. If you guys want to know any specifics on how I adjust, um, leave it down in the comments below. One thing I also mentioned is this, this, my diet is always structured around the vertical diet. So we use lots of red meat, build volume up in rice. All the micronutrients are in there. You're not going to see my vegetables listed in the diet, but I do eat spinach, bell pepper, zucchini, and I just change those out interchangeably. I usually grill them or I'll switch up the cooking of them just to kind of change the flavor around. But that's kind of how my approach is currently. Um, again, let me know if you have any questions. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. If you want to see more, I was thinking about doing some training logs on my YouTube. So if you want to see those, you know, let me know in the comments as well. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you next week.